In this video, we're going to extend the idea of Nash equilibria to mixed strategies. So here's a modified version of the matching pennies. And what we're going to see is that if we just restrict ourselves to pure strategies, we won't uh, arrive at an equilibrium. So if the column player plays tails, the row player should uh, respond by playing tails. If the row player is playing tails, the column player should play heads. If the column player is playing heads, the row player should play heads. If the row player is playing heads, then the column player should move back to tails. The best response to that is for the role player to play tails. And we are in um, a cycle that, that is dynamic. There's no equilibrium here. If we consider the utility to player one, when player one always plays heads, and player two plays a mixed strategy, where sigma two is a probability distribution over the strategies of player two. So sigma two is y and one minus y, where y is the probability with which player two plays heads, and 1 minus y, the probability with which player 2 plays tails. We get these two expressions for the utility, just working out expected probabilities. Now if we plot these, we see in this magenta, reddish, pinkish color, uh, the utility of player 1 when um, he or she plays tails, and uh, here in green, the utility of player 1 when he or she plays heads against the probability y. And now what we can do is we can see, okay, if y is less than a half, then the best response for player one is to choose tails. So anything down here, player one should play tails. And everything here, player one should play heads. In other words, that's all, those are the best responses. If y is equal to a half, then player one is indifferent. So player two can choose a strategy that makes player one indifferent. So here we're just writing the best responses for player one. So if y is less than a half, uh, player one should play tails. If y is bigger than a half, player one should play heads. If y is equal to half, it's in, uh, he or she is indifferent. But of course, tails is just the same as saying x equals zero if x is uh, the probability with which player one plays uh, heads. And h is just the same as saying x equals one. So these are some mixed strategies now. And we could do this exact same thing for the column player, for player two. And what we get is something like this. And now what we can do is we can say, okay, if y is less than a half, then x would be zero. But if x is zero, then we're over here. And then similarly, what we've got is we've got, okay, well, that will make y equals one. And now if y equals one, y is big, bigger than a half, which means x is one. So x is bigger than a third. So y is zero. If y is zero, it's less than half. And we've got this dynamic situation with no equilibria. The only way we'll have an equilibria is if y equals a half and x equals a third. In other words, player one can choose x to make player two indifferent, and player two can choose y to make player one indifferent. And that idea in, of indifference is what we're going to start thinking of Nash equilibrium in terms of. So we're no longer going to think of this as intersections of best responses, but points at which neither player has an incentive to improve.